The 19th DSB Congress, comprising several tournaments, began on the 20th July 1914 in Mannheim. Alexander Alochin was leading the Meister Turnier with nine wins, one draw, and one loss when World War I broke out. After Germany declared war on Russia on August 1, the Congress was stopped and 11 Russian players were interned in Rastatt Prison, Germany. In Rastatt, Alochin shared a cell with Yefim Bogolubov. Lacking the luxury of a chess set, they started to play blindfold chess some of which were later published in the press. In this video, we will take a look at one of those games. Alochin is on the white side and he opened up with e4, to which Pagalubov answered with e5. Knight c3, Vienna game is on the board. Knight f6, bishop c4, bishop c5, and we have a dubious pawn sacrifice. Alochin is making a novelty and later this move would appear several more times, but not in the games of strong players. White is making a strange pawn sacrifice and it's not quite clear where is White's compensation. d6, knight e2. White is preparing castle and kingside and at the same time is keeping the f pawns paw free. Here both players castled kingside, knight d7, c3, bishop c5 and d4 attacking black's dark squared bishop and opening up this dark squared bishop's diagonal. Bishop goes back on b6 and this time we see f4. He takes d4, knight takes d4 and knight e5. A very strange move by Pagalubov, which is allowing white to gain initiative. It was better either to play knight f6 or rook e8. These are natural looking moves but in the game we see knight e5. The idea is that after f takes e5, d takes e5, white knight is finding itself pinned and black will win back the sacrificed piece, but this doesn't give black anything. Moreover, uh, this is even opening up this a3, f8 diagonal, and we have bishop a3, the bishop is occupying this diagonal and is starting to create problems for his opponent. Rook e8, queen f3 with queen takes f7 thread. Also at any moment d6 can follow opening up the light squared bishop's diagonal. Black finally decided to accept the peace sacrifice but this is already losing. It was better to keep this pin and make this prophylactic king a8 move. If queen takes f7 then bishop g4. With this move black is connecting his heavy artillery and is preventing a move like bishop f8. Uh, but instead, after queen f3, we see e takes d4 and Alochin happily munched the pawn on f7. King goes on h8 and there it goes, bishop f8 followed, after which black can already resign. There is a direct mating threat and this is a very unique way of exploiting the back rank weakness, right? d takes c3, discover, check, king h1, bishop d4. In return, Bagalubov is finding an interesting resource. He is protecting the pawn on g7 from d4 square, but in his arsenal, white has more powerful blows, and there comes d6. Opening up the light squared bishop's diagonal and creating a mating threat. Bishop e6. Black is temporarily blocking the a to g8 diagonal and is connecting his heavy artillery. Bishop takes e6, rook takes f8 and after d takes c7, resignation followed. And by the way, this is the only move which guarantees white a victory. Now, if for example, queen d6 or queen e8, uh, in both cases, queen takes f8 will follow. And after several exchanges on f8, white queen appears on the board, black is also losing his rook, and it's over. That's why after d takes c7, Pagalubov resigned. Once again, this game comes to prove that even in blindfold game, Alochin sees everything. 
In the end, a chess puzzle for you where the task is to find the winning line for black. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Feel free to check out my early uploads as well. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.